What's going on everybody, DJ Minds here. The goal of today's video is to get you your very own graphics card or try to help you if you're new to crypto mining, try to figure out, you know, what is the best bang for the buck. So right off the bat, anything over a 3070, maybe 3070 Ti, if you're lucky, you are not gonna be able to afford. So that get that out of your mind, you're not getting that whatsoever. But where I think I can add some value to some of the new people, this for example is a 1070. This is what I started mining on. But the reason that I started mining on this was simply because I had already had this laying around. I did try mining on a 960 back in 2016, but these days in 2021, I did try mining on 1070. I'm gonna say this is way too old. You can find these for around $100 on eBay. That's not with shipping or anything, but it's really, really old, man. Same with the 1080 here. I don't recommend anything with a 10. So again, if you're new to mining, you know, if you see 1000, it's actually called 10 series, right? You see anything like that, avoid at all costs. And you can get a 1080, which used to be an incredible car Hard, and that's about $175. So still avoid at all costs. Next up is the 5700 XT. I'm honestly gonna have to say avoid this one. Now in the last bull run, bull run is when we all had a bunch of money and we were mining Ethereum and it was amazing. Uh, yeah, the times have changed, unfortunately. We're all kind of broke now. So yeah, hey, welcome to the club. You can come be broke with the rest of us. But in all seriousness though, these cards used to cost five, $600 and they were definitely not worth it. And at the time they were making probably six, seven bucks a day. These days, you're probably losing money depending on your electric rate. I'm going to say avoid the 5700 XT. Next up is the 6600 XT, and this is where I do start recommending things. If you're an AMD fan, well, if you're new, you probably don't know, but I'm not a huge AMD guy myself. However, this is a coveted card. It is extremely efficient, and believe me, profitability is terrible right now. It is terrible. We are in July of 2023, so yeah, you know, you're going to need every little watch you can, and 6600 XT is not a bad deal at all. You can definitely find these for under $300. Me personally, I wouldn't pay more than $200 for these. I believe you'll have to buy these used off of eBay or something. Make sure you get a reputable seller, of course, but it's a good starter. Next up is the 1660 Ti or 1660 Super. These cards were really good at the time, the last bull run, but they're really getting old now. I haven't seen too many algorithms that blow my mind on them. And while we are going budget friendly in this particular video, I also want you to make good decisions, which which then leads me into a good decision. In fact, I would say this is a great decision and you can definitely get the 3070. Oh baby, look at this. This is a 3070 EVGA XC. The XC version is definitely a little bit different than the For the Win 3, which I like the For the Win 3, but they're a very thick card, much thicker than this. I believe this is a two slot as far as like the width of it. So yeah, the width is just here, but the EVGA For the Win 3 comes to about here. It's just a little bit harder to build in, especially if you start upgrading to something like a server case, which you don't have to worry about right now because we're broke as a motherfucker if we're watching a budget build. But 3070, you can't go wrong with this. Now you should be able to get these used for $300. You can search around on Facebook Marketplace, more local places. I've seen them go for 250, 275. Try to go for that EVGA. Don't really go for Zotac. Don't go for PNY. The next line of card that you'll probably start seeing are these A-series cards. Look how thin that is. That is so tiny. I'll just put it next to a 3070. This actually performs almost the exact same as a 3070. The RTX A4000, which is this style card. These are actually made, pretty much all the A-series are made to be in servers. This is more for rendering. Potentially you could use it for AI, but if your goal is artificial intelligence, you're probably not using a $300 budget anyways, but it is got some potential on here. But the problem with these cards, and this is why I say they're not noob friendly, they are very, very hot, very difficult to cool in comparison to a full-on graphics card, like the normal graphics card. Again, just look at the thickness difference, man. These are like the blower style cards. I would say if you're brand new to crypto mining, honestly, even if you're a veteran in crypto mining, this is probably not going to be the best card for you to get. Definitely stick with the 3070. Okay, so if you're wondering why we didn't talk about the 4000 series, yes, it is the more modern graphics cards, absolutely. And maybe to a gamer, probably to a gamer, they're gonna hold more value. But let's be honest, if you're watching this video, like I said, you are broke. We got 300 bucks, man, it's hard to do. So yes, you could probably get the RTX 4060 Ti. <laughs> that one's a joke, man. The gamers hate it, the miners hate it, 
pretty much everybody hates it and laughs at it. I don't think it's gonna hold its value. Uh, it probably won't go down much more. I think it's at $300, so yeah, right up your alley. But to be fair, I would really go for the RTX 3070. That's gonna be the best bang for the buck. And pretty much everybody in the mining community loves the 3070. It's that middle ground, right? It's not the, the bottom tier, it's not like a 3060, but it's certainly not a 4090, but it's also way more efficient than a 4090, performance better. It's a perfect middle ground. Now you might also come across the 3060 Ti for a good deal. I will say this. The premium that comes with the 3070 in my personal experience and in my humble opinion is that it is worth it 100%. Why? Because over the course of, let's say, a year, you're going to make a little bit more money with the 3070. You're also going to use a little bit less wattage with the 3070. And you could have this car for another year or two or three or hell, even five if it doesn't die out on you. So over time, it's definitely going to save you money if it's only like a $40, $50 difference. I would certainly go for the 3070. In almost every situation. The only situation where I'd probably go for the 3060 Ti is if it was like a hundred bucks cheaper. If it's a hundred dollars cheaper, okay, so if we're talking like two hundred dollars and the 3070 is 300, okay, yeah, sure, then you could almost buy two of those cards. That would make sense. But overall, if, if it's very close, go for that 3070. Trust me on that. The 70 series is always kind of what people want and kind of go for. Like I showed you, the 1070 was really great. The 2070 was pretty great. 3070 and the 4070s, it's okay. It's it's all right. It's definitely not as good as the other 70s card. But hey, you know what? It's there and it's in your budget. So I'll put some examples in the description below. Those are from Amazon. I'm not saying that Amazon's the best place to buy, but it, at least you can get a picture of what I'm talking about. I'll put the RTX 3070 in there. If you do buy from Amazon or honestly, anywhere that you buy, please be very careful. Check the seller. If you can buy directly from Amazon or wherever you're gonna go, awesome. That's how you wanna do it. Some of these sellers, man, check that feedback. I have also bought overseas many times from Alibaba, though right now, it it is so easy to get graphics cards. You can get graphics cards anywhere, man. Everybody and their mother selling graphics cards for cheap. And it might not seem cheap to you, $250 to $300 range. Trust me, that is cheap because people used to spend $1,000 plus for the same card that you're looking at right now for that $250 to $300 range. So yeah, I wouldn't penny pinch too much. Find a GPU like a 3070 that you enjoy, maybe 6600 XT if you want to go a little bit cheaper and just go for it, man. If you like it and this is interesting for you, you're not going to make a lot of money right now, but we're always thinking about the long term. What is this graphic card going to make me in the long term? One, two, three, four, five years from now. I would love to hear what your electric rate is because your electric rate matters a lot. If you're under 10 cents a kilowatt, dude, keep mining. You're killing it. If you're above 10 cents, like me, I'm at 16 cents. I have to really watch what I mine. I have to be careful on the algorithm. I can't turn on my whole farm. I have almost 200 graphics cards and I definitely cannot turn on 200 graphics cards because I turned on 80% of my farm two months ago and my bill was almost $2,000. That also includes the ASICs and everything, but oh my God, it's crazy, right? So be careful. Let me know if this video helped you. If you want to see different kind of budget builds, let me know in the comment section below and maybe I'll do a video on it. Catch you guys on the next one. DJ Mines signing out. Oh, and join my Discord. I got that baby in the description. We always need more talkative people. Join the Discord. Peace.